Hop, 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 Oppenheimer. Let's see where it's because it's all obviously being reviewed like crazy and being reviewed very well. Sits at a 92 percent, 142 reviews right here. Oppenheimer marks another engrossing achievement from Christopher Nolan that benefits from Murphy's true to force performance and stunning visuals. What I could say for sure is that Oppenheimer far too often feels like a three hour Wikipedia entry than a compelling movie. Ouch. Though they may seem uh, disparate uh, that many elements of that many elements of, of, of Oppenheimer refract and reflect each other like a bunch of atoms creating a chain reaction for a group of scientists building off each other's ideas to forge something new. Either despite its intense craft or because of it, Oppenheimer works, says Stephanie from Time. For all we learn about the creation and execution of the atomic bomb and its aftermath, the story could and should be told in a more digestible form. Instead, we have an overlong narrative that isn't uh, revelatory or surprising. So Leonard Maltin said, yeah, it's good, but it could have been told better. Uh, elevated by Killian Murphy's e exacting performance, Nolan's biopic on the father of the atomic bomb is majestic and morally complex. This is dense material that's thoroughly engrossing and by its end, shattering. It's laughable to suggest Oppenheimer and Strauss's moral crimes are comparable, but Nolan goes further than that, emphasizing the latter's chicanery in highlighter pen while the protagonist receives a soft glows of nuance. Very, very interesting. And when it comes to box office projections, so first they were thinking 80 million, but now they're thinking 40 million domestic, 100 million worldwide. So I know there was people, I saw people that thought that Oppenheimer was like, oh yeah, Barbie who? There's no way. People are going to go flock to see Oppenheimer. It's like, no. It's a complete opposite movie from Barbie. Barbie can be like, you know, family friendly. It's a two hour long movie. This is a three hour R-rated movie that apparently has an extended sex scene, which is going to be interesting to see. And apparently a lot of people are saying that it comes out like a horror flick and it's kind of devastating. So 